Well, hello, and thank you for joining me for another Alex on Tech and ITY video. Today, I'm having a look at the brand new Nest Audio, which Google has launched, claiming that it is 75% louder with 50% stronger bass, and it has a new shape that is uh, more able to easily fit into different parts of your home. So this is the packaging itself. Uh, we can see on the side some of the various things that they are claiming there, and uh, you can see on this side it's about uh, hey google and the various things that you know asking the assistant can do and on the back we have a nice image of where you might position the google nest in your home so let me open it up and inside we have the nest audio so if i pull it out we can see that indeed it is does not have the rounded shape that we've come to expect from speakers like the home pod or the um, you know, various, uh, or even the original Google Home itself, which has that sort of a shape. And then, of course, you have the Alexa speakers, which also round. So this is meant to be sort of, you know, more in tune with the modern world. And on the back here, we have the power. There's nothing on the bottom. We've got a, the, uh, the switch there for the microphone. And let's have a look what else is inside the box. So I'm just pulling this uh, enclosure out. There is a um, getting started guide that you can see here. Let's get started. And also uh, information on privacy. Inside there, it says, here's how to control your privacy on your Google Nest Audio. And um, it doesn't open up. It just says here, microphones are built into the Nest Audio so you can use your voice to ask the Google Assistant for help. Make calls and more. Audio is only sent to Google when the Nest Audio detects that you're interacting with your assistant. Like when you say, hey Google, or when you're using a feature that re relies on audio, for example, sound detection for audio or audio calling. And uh, it also tells you how to turn off the microphones, which is the little switch on the back that we saw there before. Now in the little get started guide, uh, we're shown that you can uh, plug it in and then you've got to go to the Google app home, Google Home app on your phone. And it's telling us here that there are touch controls at the at the top. So at the top left of the device here, you can turn the volume down. At the top here is the, the play and the pause. And on the right hand side, it's volume up. And it's just showing us there that on the on the back we have the microphone switch. And then there are a range of instructions, you know, things that you can say to Google and uh, more instructions there. And of course, on the back, we have support. And inside, uh, it's very simple. We just have power. So this here is a very organized power connection. And that is the, the simple unboxing. So what I'm going to do now is open up the Google Home app, connect it, and I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so I've put the power cable in the... Uh, PowerPoint and I've connected it through the back of the shelf I have here. I'm going to uh, plug in and the Google Nest Audio is turning on for the first time. I'm going to grab my phone and I'm going to bring up the Google Home app. So let us do that. So I'm doing that right now. The, uh, the Nest Audio is turning on as we can see there, nestled in between a little picture of Steve Jobs and my little rocket ship which is a very cool little pen. Got that about 20 years ago. So that is the sound of Google Home turning on. And uh, Hi, to get started, download the Google Home app on a phone or tablet. Okay, so I've done that. So I'm, I'm tapping Google Home. I'm going next on, on the app on my phone. And it says here, set up Nest Audio. So you can see there, I don't know if you can see that that well. You can see that, but it is wanting to set up Nest Audio. So I'm doing just that, tapping up Set Up Nest Audio and um, tapping Next. So it's now asking for location access. So I've got to go into the, uh, the settings and I'm going to allow while using app. So it's now looking for devices. You can see there it is uh, searching and it's going to find it, of course. So it says it's found it. And Nest Audio found, yep, so I'll go next. And is now asking me to, to turn on Wi-Fi. So I'm um, going to go to the settings and turn Wi-Fi 
that on. So I'm just looking for that. It says location, Bluetooth, local network, Siri and search, background app refresh and cellular, cellular data, of which I have all those things on. So let me just go back to Google Home. Turn on Wi-Fi and settings to discover and set up nearby device. Ah, oh, so I've got the Wi-Fi turned off. So I'm just going to turn Wi-Fi on my phone on. So that is now on. So it now says connecting to Nest Audio, which it is doing. And what does it say? Did I hear the sound? So I say, uh, yes, I did hear the sound. So improve Nest Audio. You can say yes or no. It's up to you. And then it's asking me where the device is. So I'm going to say that it is in, let's have a look here. I'm just going to say it's in the office. So I've tapped on that. So I've got a bunch of different uh, choices there of where you can choose. So I said office, so next. And it wants to connect to my Wi-Fi, so I'm going to allow it to do that. It's asking me for the Wi-Fi password, which I'm typing in. So give me one sec. That's been typed in. Use this uh, network for future devices. It's now connecting to Wi-Fi you can see there and it's searching 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 hopefully I typed the password incorrectly didn't type it in too fast so it still says connecting to Wi-Fi connecting to Wi-Fi just waiting for it I may have typed too quickly but we shall see just uh, normally it would be done by now you can see the little lights there flashing away as it um ah, connected it says connected so there we go connected so now it's asking me do I want to change the assistant language to English United States or to change it back to Australia and I'm going to change it to Australia so then I'm going to go next and we've got the uh, Google Assistant request there so I'm going to say um, next uh, well it's asking me but anyway I'm just going to click next because there doesn't appear to be any choices there so I'll go next and the little thing is spinning around spinning around so we just quickly we just See what's happening there. It's just spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. And I'm waiting, waiting, waiting. That is doing its thing on the front. Okay, and now it wants to ask me about Google Assistant and do I want to uh, activate it, basically. And am I in or not? So I'm going to say uh, turn on. Uh, it wants to know if I want to have my web and app, app activity um, on or not. And sometimes I have it on, sometimes I have it off. But I'll, I'll just, in this case, I'll just say turn on. But again, you can say no thanks. So some Google Assistant features aren't available with this account. Um, and that's because I've got a G Suite account. And geez, I wish Google would fix that. I mean, I have one G Suite account. It's for my email address, which is hosted with Gmail. And uh, I did have a Gmail address and I was having my email forwarded to that address. But one day Google decided it it, it uh, didn't like that and was going to check every 10 minutes. So I had to host my email with Gmail because I liked using Gmail. And anyway, it is what it is. So it's now spinning around, spinning, 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 searching, searching, searching for something. And the screen is still spinning around. You can see it there. So it is also now asking if I want to teach assistant my voice recordings which I'll say I agree. It should already have my recordings from previous. So agree to voice match. Here's what you need to keep in mind. It allows the assistant to identify you and tell you apart from others. It takes clips of your voice to form a unique voice model, which is only stored on your device. So anyway, if you decide it's not for you, you can turn it off. So here we go. So I agree. Google Home would like to access your microphone. So I say, like, this would be the app on my phone. So I go, okay. So I'm tap, um, I agree as well. All right, I agree. I seem to have to agree more than once. I tap I agree one more time. Uh, here we go. Something went wrong. Try again. So let's see what's going on there. I'll just tap I agree. I'll tap I agree again. Okay. Okay, Google, play my workout playlist. And it's got a tick, so it's, it's asked me for that. So, okay, Google, what is the nearest post office? Hey Google, remind me to buy flowers. And hey Google, what time is the sunrise? What time is the sunrise? Hey Google, what time is the sunrise? 
doesn't seem to want to See, it's just going round and round. Well, let's try it again. Hey, Google, what time is the sunrise? I'll just hit cancel and see if it lets me cancel it. Are you sure? I'm to go back. Hey, Google, what time is the sunrise? No, and it's crashed. So let me, something happened there. Try it again. Google Home crashed recently. Would you like to send anom anonymous crash reports to help improve this app? Well, normally I say no, but in this case I'll say yes. And um, so let's, looks like I have to, I'm just trying to see what's happening here. I'm just looking through the, the info here. I can see it's asking me here. It's, tell, it's showing me that I've got the um, the you know, office device, and if I tap on that over there, it's telling me I you know connect it to the Wi-Fi to cast. So check that office speaker is online, and your phone or tablet is connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So I don't know, and if I tap on any of the little gears or whatever, uh, I can see. I might just remove it and unlink it and try it again. Sometimes you've got to do that. So you can see that it is uh, removed and I'm going to tap the plus or I'm going to tap the button in the middle of the screen or tap the plus at the top, set up device, set up new device, choose home, which it is looking for devices. And I'm just going through this, this process again. That didn't work. So it's asking me what am I trying to set up? Sometimes it's a good idea to turn that off and start again. So I'm gonna turn that off and turn it back on. So in a moment we should see the lights coming back on to tell us that it is restarted. And I'm gonna get out of the Google Home app and I'm going to try again. We're just waiting for that to come back to life. This is the benefit of uh, live setting up for the first time you get to see what worked and what didn't and look I, I doubt that's you know a standard kind of thing maybe i should be setting this up on a on a pixel rather than an iphone but hey google stuff's worked with iphone for a long time i'm just waiting to see oh there we go something is well i was waiting for it to to turn on and, and have lights come on so let's go back into the home app and let's try that again so let's tap on the plus Let's tap on set up device, set up new device, home next. It's looking for devices. We'll see if it we'll see if it finds it. No, it didn't find it. So uh, let's have a look here. It's asking me what sort of device I want to set up. So it's got Chromecast camera, display, doorbell light bulb lock plug sensor smoke alarm speaker thermostat or wi-fi so let's try speaker i might have to turn the nest audio off for a good 30 seconds so let me turn that off let me stop the video now turn it off and come back shortly okay so let's try and plug in the uh, nest audio so i've got the power here i'm going to plug it in and it should automatically start turning on actually i've got to turn on up over here as well so just turned it on we can now see the little lights coming on there and we should hear the little ding bling as it uh, comes on we'll hear that in a moment and whilst that is we can see it's something is happening there so i'm going to go into the uh, the google home app and let uh, let's just wait for that to finish first of all Waiting for the boot up is a normal thing to have happen. So it's going, it's going, it's going. A little bit like a Cylon. Our Cylon future. <laughs> so I'm just waiting for it. There we go. There we go. So let's go into the Google Home app. And I'm going to... So 
Okay, so this time it says, it's showing me again, office speaker and link account, right? So we seem to be back where it is discovering that uh, I have a device there, which I have partially set up already. So I'm gonna tap on link account and it's asking me, where is this device? I'm gonna say it's in the office like I did before. I'm gonna tap on next. And just waiting for it to, to go next. I don't know why it's not going next. Riveting stuff, I'm sure. Okay, here we go. So now it is, so hang on. I just, okay, so now it's asking me to set up the Google Assistant. So we're going through the same process we did before. So I'll click on next. And some features are not available. As I said before, that's because I have a G Suite account. One day Google will fix that so that I can use all the features. And I'm not reliant on just having a Gmail account. I mean, I have a Gmail account, but it's not my main email address. And I want my main, my, my main email address is on Gmail. Anyway, teach Google, teach your assistant to recognize your voice. Now, in the past, this has noticed that I've trained Google devices before. So why it's asking me again, I don't know. But anyway, I agree. And I agree again. Okay, Google, play my workout playlist. Sure. Here's a Google Play Music station called Pop and Rap Pace Setter. And by the way, YouTube Music is replacing Google Play Music in October. To keep your library, playlists, and uploads, go to the Google Play Music app to transfer your account. I sent a notification to your phone with more information. Okay, Google, stop. Now what I'm going to do... Okay, Google, stop. Okay, Google, stop playing music. Okay, Google. Please stop. Okay, Google, stop my workout playlist. Okay, I don't know why I didn't stop there, but I, I hit the stop button. And now I'm going to go to the back here and turn off the microphone and see if that allows me to continue my setup. The mic's off. The mic is Okay, so, okay, Google, play my workout playlist. Okay, Google, play my workout playlist. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, Google, where is the nearest post office? Hey Google, remind me to buy flowers. Hey Google, what time is the sunrise? Okay, so I tap continue at the bottom and it now says setting up voice match. She is doing. What this also goes to show is that you need a bit of persistence, you know. Things don't always work perfectly. We might be 2020, but uh, as COVID has shown us, the world works in mysterious ways. And look, most people are going to have a, a smoother experience, but if you don't, sometimes you've got to turn it off and start again. So it, it did the voice match and now it is coming up and it says, um, get personal results with your voice. Voice match has been set up. Now you can turn on personal results to use your voice to access your calendar, contacts, reminders, and more on this device. You can turn off personal results in the system settings. So I'm going to tap on, at the bottom here, it says, I agree. So I tap on, I agree. And um, now it's asking me, choose your assistant's voice. And there are two samples. So I can play sample one. So let me, let me turn this up. Now, ah, possibly because, well, I don't know. Like it says I can hear a sample of each voice, but I'm tapping on these, on these things on the screen and nothing is happening. So look, I'm just going to go with voice two for now. So we go next and then it says select a default music service. Hi, I'm your Google assistant here to help you throughout your day. Okay. So we actually, it did. I don't know why I didn't play immediately, but 
Anyway, so select a default music service. The assistant will automatically play music from this service. So we have Spotify, we have YouTube Music, we have Google Play Music, and we have Deezer. Now, I am a YouTube Premium subscriber, so I'm going to choose YouTube Music. So I'm going to tap on that. You can see those are the, uh, the four options over there. And then I'm going to tap on Next. So I tap Next. And we're waiting, and it's just spinning around. Things are spinning around, like Kylie Minogue, spinning around, spinning around. So we're just waiting for that. And it's thinking about it. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking, okay, cannot select music provider. Something went wrong, impossible to select this music provider. Please select another. So I'm gonna tap on Google Play Music because as a YouTube premium subscriber, I'm part of that as well. So I'll tap Google Play Music. I thought Google Play Music was going away, but anyway, you can always change it later. I'm going to tap Next, and uh, it is spinning around again. And now it's asking, so that worked. For some reason, that worked. Uh, and YouTube didn't, but it doesn't matter. So Link Video Services. So it wants me, it says, let everyone watch your video services just by asking the assistant. So it's got Netflix, Stan, and Foxtel Go. And I, uh, I have those three. But look, just for the sake of time, because this has already been a long video, I'm going to click on Netflix. I'm just going to go with Netflix, which is already ticked. So I'll just tap next. And it is now spinning around again. Spinning, spinning, spinning. So just wait for it. And we're waiting, waiting, waiting. Microphone is still off over here, as we can see. And it's, it's good that it's orange. It, you know, you know at a glance that the microphone is off. So now it says get started with voice calls. So it says start, so that's what you can say over there, get started with voice calls. Start and receive high quality voice calls with anyone who has Google Duo. You can also call your own speaker to talk to people at home. Um, and you can remove your Duo account from your speaker or delete your Duo account anytime. You can tap continue. I'm just gonna tap not now for now, just to move this along. So, I, so it says almost done. Here's a review of what we've achieved. So it says here, uh, we've got the devices, which is the office speaker. We've set up services and we've got the Wi-Fi. So I'll tap next. And we're waiting. So it's just spinning around, spinning around, spinning around. In theory, it'll be ready soon. So learn about the controls on your Nest Audio. So here it's showing us that the touch controls are at the top of the device. So we can see here that um, touch controls are along the top of the front side. So I tap on next, it says play and pause, tap on the front center. So there you go, tap on that. If I go next, changing the volume, turning it up or down. So you can see that where the volume controls are there. And if I tap next, it's got the microphone switch, which is as we saw before is on the back. So there we go, and next, it's now spinning around. I'm waiting for it to show me the next thing. So it's just continuing that, continuing that animation until it is uh, ready. So here we go, it says offer speaker is ready. Let's get started. So I tap on continue and it's just telling me, just start with Hey Google. Your Google Assistant will respond to you when you say Hey Google or OK Google. Uh, music, play some Hi, music. I'm your Google Assistant. Ooh. It's great to meet you. There are a lot of ways I can help you get things done. Let's try a few. Or if you already know your way around, just say, I'm done. First, we'll play a short music clip. Say, hey, and then Google, and ask, the mic's back on. Oh, that seemed to stop it. That's a shame. Um, it was telling us some information, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So we can uh, we can say, play some music, we can, we can tell it to stop. We can ask for answers, you know, how do you say nice to meet you in Korean? How is the S&P 500 doing? What is the nearest flower store? We can say, tell me about my day, set a timer for 15 minutes, call mom, as it's written here. Uh, tell me a joke, what sound does a well make and what can you do? So let me tap on finish setup. So there's some of the various things that we can ask Google to do. And I'm just going to tap finish setup at the bottom. So finish setup. And now we're just back in the, in the, the home app. Now, um, hey Google. What sound does a whale make? This is a whale. Almost sounds a bit like Chewbacca there for a second, the first part anyway. So Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. Oh, 
back to the tutorial. Just say hey and then Google play some music. Hey Google, play some music. All right, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. And just an FYI, you can always say something like set the volume to three. Hey Google, set the volume to three. Hey Google, set the volume to five. Hey Google, set the volume to 10. Hey Google, set the volume back to five. Hey Google, stop. No problem. If you'd like to do the tutorial again, just say, start the tutorial. Hey Google, start the tutorial. Sure, here are a few things you might find helpful. First, we'll play a short music clip. Say, hey, and then Google, and ask me to play your favorite artist. Hey Google, play Michael Jackson. Playing Michael Jackson on Google Play Music. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. Just say hey and then Google play some music. Hey Google, play some music. Playing some music on Google Play Music. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial. In addition to playing music, I can also help you with some everyday tasks. Try asking me for the time. Hey Google, what time is it? It's 6.22 p.m. And by the way, to hear about your upcoming events, just say, what's in my calendar? Hey Google, what's in my calendar? I can't access your G Suite calendar yet, but I'm learning how to do new things every day. Well, that's what I said before about the G Suite. Let's see if it continues with the tutorial. Sorry, I don't understand. Hey Google, continue with the tutorial. Okay, do you want to start from the beginning? No, just go from where you left off. Sorry, did you say yes? No. Okay. Here's that last part again. In addition to playing music, I can also help you with some everyday tasks. Try asking me for the time. Hey Google, what's the time? It's 6.23 p.m. Sorry, I didn't understand. Hey Google, skip to the next part of the, tut of the tutorial. One last tip. I can get all sorts of information for you. For instance, try asking about the weather. Hey Google, how's the weather? Currently in O'Malley, it's 16 with rain. Tonight, the forecast is around 14 with rain. Well, I'm not in O'Malley, but that's close enough. Uh, hey Google, how do you say thank you in German? In German, you would say... Danke. Danke. Hey Google, tell me a joke. How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> hey Google, make me laugh. What do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. These are like dad jokes. I like dad jokes. I'm sadly not a dad yet, but uh, it's, uh, it's probably, I don't know, for the best. <laughs> but Sorry. I can... I don't understand. I can learn some learn some jokes. Hey Google, what can you do? Here are some things you should try. You can say, what's the weather in Bora Bora? Or set an alarm 20 minutes from now. Hey Google, what's the weather in Bora Bora? Right now on Bora Bora, it's 23 and clear. Tonight, the forecast is around 23 and clear. Hey Google, do I need an umbrella today? Yes, 
It's forecast to rain in O'Malley tonight. I can see it's raining right now outside. Uh, hey, Google, what's the weather this weekend? From Friday to Sunday in O'Malley, it'll be partly cloudy most of the time, but on Saturday it'll be mostly sunny. Highs will rise from 14 to 20, while lows will rise from 4 to 8. So look, I mean, the big selling point of this particular uh, version of the Nest Audio is that it is 75% louder with 50% uh, improved bass. Uh, obviously, you can use the Google Assistant to control various aspects of your home if you have compatible devices. Sorry, I don't understand. Well, I, you were listening. Okay, Google, stop. And, uh, you know, it is the newest version of the Assistant with an improved machine learning language chip that was seen in the previous, uh, the Google Sorry, Nest Mini. Sorry, I don't understand. And it's probably set up to, to listen and to, you know... Sorry. I don't understand. Okay, Google, stop. Let's see what it does. Yeah, uh, normally what, what happens is that, um, you know, the, the assistants are trying to be smarter so that you can have follow-up questions without having to keep saying the keyword all the time. So, you know, this is um, $99 in, uh, it's 149 in Australia, $99 in the US. And it's the newest version of the Nest Audio speaker. And, uh, you know, they've, they've used some recycled materials. And uh, as I said before, they've got the machine learning uh, chip inside there to, to make Google Assistant smarter and faster. I'm going to have to continue playing with it. Uh, but uh, on first impressions, despite a slightly torturous setup procedure, which was, you know, technology, uh, these sort of things happen. So um, I can also, I've got a little card here that came with the, the, the setup where I can just say... Uh, Hey Google, play some music. Okay, music on Google Play Music. Here you go. Hey Google, play. <laughs> okay Google, stop. So there you go. I'm gonna to have to do more playing, but that's the uh, the setup of the new Google Nest Audio, and uh, it sounds good. No question about that. Okay, talk to you later. Bye.